because everything is not as it seems when you just read these news articles. They're saying, oh, it doesn't matter if 146 billion plus 1.46.5 billion was given in a quote bailout in a quote austerity deal. They cut your pensions, they cut your benefits, they cut basic services like filling potholes and police and ambulances, and they raise the taxes to pay the money to the six to ten, depending on how you break them down, global mega parasite banks. It's incredible. And so they're saying, oh, it didn't have the desired effect. We thought this would stabilize Europe. How many economists have we had on for several years telling you that 19 countries are going to go down at least? More than 12 of them in Western and Eastern Europe and the Mediterranean. And then it would be Portugal and Spain next. And now we're hearing the same thing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Now we need hundreds of billions more for those countries. Or the economy will fall apart. And then they get the bailout. And the banks restrict lending even more by design to destroy the real economy, to destroy confidence so the state goes bankrupt further into the hands of the private central banks that have done this in hundreds of nations over and over again. We have the IMF World Bank handbooks, and then the riots come that further destroys confidence, and then they have an excuse to crack down with paramilitary police. It's called the IMF riot and they're preparing it for the United States as well. But the average person reading this, oh gosh, 146 plus billion in taxpayer money, a lot of it paid by U.S. taxpayers, that wasn't enough. Oh, we better have more. Meanwhile, lending is at record lows. Euro market meltdown resumes despite Greek deal. A renewed selling frenzy gripped Eurozone financial markets on Tuesday as concern mounted that the record EU IMF bailout for Greece, <laughs> the IMF bailing its, oh, I'm bailing out the banks, giving it to ourselves, would not stop a debt crisis spreading in the single currency area. Spanish Prime Minister dismissed as complete madness a market rumor that his country would soon ask for 280 billion euros in aid from the euro area. The euro sank to a one-year low beneath $1.31, and the risk premium on Greek, Portuguese, and Spanish bonds soared amid jitters about a possible Greek debt restructuring and worries over the financial health of other Southern European countries. The United States dollar is not going up. The euro is going down, and then they'll bring the dollar down. This is concerted dollar value reduction. In Athens, striking public workers challenged Greece's 110 billion euro bailout for austerity deal, starting a 48-hour national strike that shut down ministries, tax offices, schools, hospitals, and public services. There is no faith in what the EU and IMF have proposed for Greece, said Dean Popplewell, chief currency strategist at OANDA, a foreign exchange brokerage in Toronto. Capital markets are betting on Greek default as Greece's own populace is now going to ex not going to accept the terms of this rescue. A contagion is a real concern hurting the euro, he said. News that Greece had appointed debt restructuring specialist uh, Lazard to provide general finance advice fueled speculation that some form of orderly Rescheduling a payment moratorium may be likely, despite vehement official denials. Finance Minister of Greece told Reuters after the news that Lazar hire, as any form of debt restructuring, is out of the question. That means they will pay the banks all the imaginary derivative crud. They will give them a hundred cents on the dollar on fraudulent paper they went in and paid the government off to buy. Literally, Goldman Sachs people running all the Greece governmental finance systems. They send their people inside, they set up the fraud, then they implode your country, then they run around laughing saying, dispatch the SWAT teams. Hazard bonuses for all. 
Lazard recently advised countries like Argentina, Ecuador, and Ivory Coast on sovereign debt restructuring. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The same thing is going to be done here in the United States if we don't wake up and say no to this system. This is a global, orchestrated, coordinated depression, a war against real property and real wealth and savings on record. This is a financial war backed up with military force that you paid for with tax money. They don't want a free market. They don't want jobs. They don't want nice cars and swimming pools. They don't want your bellies full. They don't want you doing well. They want you bankrupt, and they're going to get it done if they have their way. Greek state workers escalate protest at budget cuts. They're being told they've got to give up at least half their pension fund that they paid into. And the same thing here in the U.S. Teachers are being told they're going to have their funding cut. Private pension funds are being told they've got to give their money to, quote, failed banks. And here's CNN money. CNN money. More than 80% of school districts to cut jobs nationwide. And you're like, good. You know, shut down these screwed up public schools. Uh, the government set this whole thing up. Just like they set the nation up to fail, they set education up to fail. And now they're going to come in with their corporate schools with government funding. Run by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, where they're going to tell you what you're going to be when you grow up. What have they been promoting? Nationally, testing your DNA. And the government will tell you what your DNA means, and then they will tell you what you can get scholarships for. You know, at first it'll be, well, you just can't get scholarships, or we won't let you in, or we won't let you have this job if you don't agree to this, sign this contract. It's like you sign a contract with the military. And then they'll phase it in, as China's doing, where they're going to decide what you do from birth. They're going to decide if you can have a kid or not. They're going to test the parent's DNA and say, oh, this looks like you're too aggressive. You're anti-government. I mean, that's actually being stated. Here's another one. This is out of Gallup poll. Federal government outpaces private sectors in job creation. The federal government is creating more jobs for the first time in U.S. history than the private sector. And every government job that's created, every government job that is, is, is produced, takes 2.3 private sector jobs. That's a global average. Oh, boy. That is really horrible. I mean, they are taking over. And they've got a horde of people that work for them and a horde of people on welfare. And they're saying, we're a democracy. 51% are on the government trough, on the government mammary gland, and uh, we're going to basically enslave the rest of you. You work for us now. We have guns. We're the government. We know who you are, Tom. We know where you live. Nice house, Tom. Nice car, Tom. What's not nice is you've gone bankrupt and can't pay your taxes. So we're going to take your house, Tom. Get out, Tom. We've got an armored vehicle five miles away. It's rolling towards you. You're going to be homeless, Tom. You don't like it, Tom? Here come your public servants, Tom. And as more government people lose their jobs in select areas, that makes the other ones just serve Big Brother even more. At least I got mine. See, they've deindustrialized us. They've shut down our farming belts. They've made us totally dependent. And now the real social engineering is going to crank up. Oh, it's going to get real fun to watch America get butchered and the globalists just rolling around in our entrails, our political entrails, our societal entrails. Here's another one, L.A. Times. Plunge in state revenue dashes hopes of any easy budget fix. It says despite the fact that taxes have been raised across the board, less money's coming in. Government knows that. Kennedy cut income tax by 50%. Tax revenues more than doubled within one year. Cut taxes, revenue doubles. They don't want the revenue to double. They want carbon taxes. They want VAT financial taxes. They want to harass all businesses and factories and shut down coal plants. What does Goldfinger say to James Bond? He says, do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. Do you expect to get the economy going? No, we expect to smother the great engine of the republic. We've been trying as best we can to wreck it and so we can take it over and re-engineer it. You'll serve us like Nigerians and Argentines. 
You learn to be poor in the street. You learn about troops on street corners. You fools, we didn't dispatch these troops to fight Al-Qaeda. We run Al-Qaeda. These troops are for you when you're homeless. <laughs> and tonight, our forces will dine on man flesh.